So now let's see one more problem. And I have this second question, which is y given to you in this particular form. And the question is again, same, find yn. I again forgot to write. So the question is find yn. That is, you're supposed to find out the nth differentiation of this y term here. Look, this is not really in any of the standard form. So first you have to do is you have to find out the factors of denominator and it is the cube, right? So it will have three roots. So let's find, you have to find out three roots here. You can use calculator and find out these roots. I'm not going to go into that. So let me write down the roots here, 8x. I, I kind of know this. It is going to be x minus 2 the whole square and x plus 2. So these are the roots of that equation. Okay. Now, once I find the roots of the equation, okay, uh, let us simplify this. First, what I'll do, I'll have to, you know, this is a product and I really don't have formula again for a product. So I have to simplify that in, in a, in a, in an addition form. And for that, I will use partial fraction expansion once again. So this is by partial fraction expansion. So I'll get Y is equal to, let me write like this, A upon X plus 2 plus B upon x minus 2 plus c upon x minus 2 the whole square. Well, I just taught you one quick trick of finding partial fraction expansion. I hope you remember that. But let me just go through that once one more time now real quick. Look, I have a, b and c are unknowns and I want to find out these values. So if I were to find out the value of a, okay. Now look, a is having denominator x plus 2. So that x plus 2, you should hide here. Just just keep keep a palm on this and hide it. So once you hide x plus 2 here, put x is equal to minus 2. So whatever you see, okay, you can see whatever else. Okay, you put minus 2. So if I put x is equal to minus 2, this will become, let me write that. It is going to be minus 16, right? Minus 2 into 8 is going to be minus 16. If I put minus 2 here, minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4, minus 4 squared is going to be plus 16. So that's minus 16 over 16. And that gives me minus 1. Okay, that's how I find value of A. Now, let's just see how we can find B. And if I have to find B, I have to hide X minus 2, right? So if I hide X minus 2, there are two X minus 2, X minus 2 squared, right? Now, in case of X minus 2, if I hide only 1, there is still X minus 2 in denominator. And now if I put X is equal to 2 here, it's going to be 0. And the whole term becomes infinity, it's just not going to work. So for B, you cannot find like this. Method won't work. But can you find for C? Of course you can find for C. How will you do that? If I want to find out the value of C, I have to hide X minus to the whole square here. I hope you get that part. So if I hide X minus to the whole square, now I'll put X is equal to 2 in whatever I see. So if I put X is equal to 2, I get this as 16, right? 2 8 is 16. And if I put 2 here, it's going to be 4. Is that 4? So I found out the value of C as well. The only thing that I haven't got yet is B. And I'll teach you how exactly you do solve B. Okay. And when, when you're using my particular technique. So I'll tell you how B is done. So if you want to find out B, B is basically when you have a repeated roots like this, like when you have a square like this. Okay. You will need to use this technique. B is a repeated root of this, right? If this is x minus 2, this is x minus 2 the whole square. You can use how you found c and find b. I'll, I'll show you how. How did you get c in the first place? How did you do c? For c, you hide this and in 8x upon x plus 2, after you, hiding, after you hide this, you see only 8x upon x plus 2 and there you put x is equal to minus 2. If you put x is equal to minus 2, that's how I got. This became minus 16. This became... This became... Sorry, you put x is equal to 2. So this becomes plus 16. And uh, then you put 2 here. This becomes 4. And that's how I got 4 anyways. Right? Perfect. So that's how I got C. So now when you find B, you basically take this very term and differentiate it. I'll show you how. You just write down this as D by DX of that term. That is 8X upon X plus 2. So let me just quickly differentiate it. It's not going to be very easy. It's not going to be very tough. Uh, so, and then you put x is equal to 2 in this. So, it's going to be b is equal to, what if I differentiate this, d by dx of this thing is going to be v x plus 2 as it is, derivative is going to be 8 minus x, 8x as it is and derivative of this is going to be 1 upon x plus 2 the whole square, correct? 
and once you do the differentiation the once you do the d by dx of this term now you'll put x is equal to 2 so if i put x is equal to 2 i'm going to find the value of b let's do that real quick it is 2 plus 2 4 4 8s are 32 minus 16 and then this is if i put 2 here it's going to be 2 plus 2 4 square is going to be 16 right so 32 minus 16 is going to be 16 over 16 is going to be 1 so i found the value of b as well so we have value of a b and c let's just put them back and see what we get so y is going to be this is minus 1 upon x plus minus 1 upon x plus 2 uh, then b works out to be 1 so it is 1 upon x minus 2 and then plus c is going to be 4 upon x minus 2 the whole square right now if i have to write down the nth differentiation i have already written the formula here we can use the same formula again so you will get y n is going to be you will use 1 upon x plus b the formula here it's going to be this minus will remain there minus of minus 1 raised to n this minus is over here and minus 1 raised to n n factorial a raised to n upon x oh well a is just 1 so this term will not be there and this is x plus 2 raised to n plus 1 okay and same same formula here as well so i'm going to get minus 1 raised to n n factorial uh well this is x minus 2 raised to n plus 1 and here that 4 is just a constant so x minus to the whole square look now the power is not 1 this was the power of denominator was 1 power denominator is 1 and now the power denominator is 2 so we have to use that original formula i don't know if you remember do you remember the formula uh if you have this raised to m then in that case this was n plus m is that correct and this was an n factorial this was m plus n minus 1 factorial i hope you remember well let me write let's see how it works this is going to be minus 1 raised to n then m is 2 this is m right m is 2 so it's going to be 2 plus m minus 1 factorial 2 plus n minus 1 factorial well a is just 1 so that a raised to n won't come and then this is x minus 2 raised to n plus 2 okay please verify with the formula i hope it's all correct and uh, maybe you can take few things common here so i can just like 2 minus 1 is going to be just 1 so this term becomes n plus 1 factorial let us simplify one more step and write down the final answer so i get y n here as i can take minus 1 raised to n out i can take n factorial out okay so this becomes minus of 1 upon x plus 2 raised to n plus 1 then this is plus 1 upon x minus 2 raised to n plus 1 and then this becomes 4 now look this is n plus 1 factorial right so it is n plus 1 into n factorial so the and if i take n factorial out it, n plus 1 still will stay here i hope you followed that part and then this is x minus 2 raised to n plus 2 and that's your final answer of yn all right so that's one question okay again problem based on partial fraction expansion okay we can use partial fraction expansion and convert that product into the sum form once it gets in the particular form it's going to be very easy for you to solve and get the final answer all right now this section is over we're going to start off with the next section